Hello, I'm Stacy, Adult and Outreach Services Librarian at the Niles Main District Library. And today I'm going to be giving you seven self-care tips to practice while you're at home. Um, tip number one would be to stick to a daily schedule or routine. So even though you aren't going into work or to school, um, it's still important to maintain your usual schedule. So if you usually get up at 6 a.m. and then go to bed at 11 p.m., continue to do that. Um, I know it's really easy to stay up late, um, watching reruns of Living Single, eating all your quarantine snacks, but if you do that for enough days, you're gonna throw off your circadian rhythm, which is gonna impact your sleep, and that's the last thing that you need to be losing right now is sleep. Um, just because when you don't sleep, um, that leaves you more vulnerable to disease. So stick to your daily routine. Number two, stay physically active. Um, one of the things that we take for granted is the number of steps that we take on a daily basis. So leaving your house to go to your car or to go to the bus or train, and then the walk from the car or the bus or train to work or to school those steps really add up and when you're not doing that um and eating i'm just talking for me eating more quarantine snacks than you probably planned um those calories add up um so if you can um take a walk around your neighborhood um spring is here so look at the flowers and leaves coming into bloom. Um, if you are able, um, do jumping jacks. But if you live in an apartment or condo, be mindful of your neighbors. So don't do them too early or too late at night. Um, you can do push-ups. You can do crunches. If you have some free weights around, you can lift weights. If you have a yoga mat, break out your yoga mat. Um, even if you don't have a yoga mat, you can use an old towel to lay down and, you know, do some crunches, some push-ups. Um, Hoopla has some yoga videos that you can check out. Um, and those videos are in English and in Spanish. Um, they also have Pilates videos by Mari Windsor. Um, so take advantage of those extra checkouts that Hoopla has available to you. Um, if you aren't sure, how to find Hoopla. I'm gonna share my screen with you really quickly just so you can see where on the website you can find it. Okay, so here is our homepage. And if we go to this gray bar right here and hit research, and then click on the letter H and scroll down, click on Hoopla. You don't need to click on, well, I don't need to click on it. I have it already open, but you click on it. It will ask you for your login information. If you haven't created an account, go ahead and do it. It's easy, it's free. Um, it's available with your library card. Um, so we're in Hoopla and I have already in here yoga and we can see I, when you first open it, it's going to be everything. So when you first open up, Hoopla is gonna say that little filter there, everything but you can play around with it and look for movies or television. Like I said, there are, let's go back to television and there are 63 results. Um, let's type in Pilates. And there you see, we have 10 results, 10 videos. For Pilates. So go ahead, take advantage of the free resources that the library has available to you. Um, that takes me to tip number five. Let me stop sharing my screen. Tip number five is to eat healthy. I already said, you know, it's really easy to dig into those quarantine snacks, and it doesn't matter how many times you open the fridge or the pantry, the contents have not changed. Um, when you are home, um, speaking for myself, I get bored and I think, oh, I'm hungry. Let me go grab some chips. And 
before you know it, you've, like I said, eaten all your quarantine snacks. So just be mindful about what you're consuming. Um, also make sure that you're hydrating, drinking water. And that's really important. Um, tip four is limit your news intake. So the news right now is a lot to handle and you would be doing yourself and your spirit a favor by stepping away and limiting your media intake. Now, it is important and necessary to keep up to date on the latest news um, and information, but be mindful of the amount of time that you're spending consuming that media. Um, step away, take some breaths, um, don't consume too much right now. It's a lot. Um, in the meantime, in between time, you could go to tip number five, which is get creative. Um, doodle, paint. Um, you can learn to sew. I know a lot of people who are baking a lot. Baking bread is big right now. Um, Rachel, the teen librarian, um, has been baking some pies. Um, I can't wait for us to open again so I can get one of those pies. But, you know, find something to put your creative forces into right now. Um, which takes me to tip six, which is sleep. Um, it's one of my favorite hobbies. Um, and it's without adequate sleep, you have your defenses lowered and you're more vulnerable to diseases, as I said earlier. Um, and that's the last thing you want to be vulnerable to right now. So unwind at night, unplug your uh, devices, find some peaceful, calming music to listen to before you go to bed, but make sure that you're getting enough sleep and that you aren't staying up too late. Um, again, binge watching old shows, arrested development, things like this, make sure that you're getting enough sleep. And then that takes me to tip seven, be grateful. When all else fails, remember this quote from Kung Fu Panda. Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, and today is a gift. That is why they call it the present. And know that it is okay to not be okay. It's, it's a hard time for everyone, and it's okay to say that you're not okay, um, but try and take care of yourself. Um, that's it. That's all I have. Um, thank you for watching. Um, if you need help or want to access some of the resources that the library has available, um, please check our website. Um, www.nileslibrary.org. Okay, thanks. Stay safe.